Welcome everyone, this is Zozo Stockwatch, and this is your Stockwatch list for Wednesday, September 13th. Alright, let's go ahead and take a quick look at some of the markets. You see the SPY is powering up to all-time highs here on the weekly chart. Uh, we just keep moving up, strength right in the 10 SMA on the weekly chart there and pushing up. Nice power by the bulls. Uh, so, uh, you know, nothing to worry there. Uh, IWM. A uh, nice push up above the 50 SMA, IWC, uh, let's check IWC out and you see the nice push here, but we are getting a little bit of an indecisive candle here on the uh, IWC. So, you know, we've had a nice uh, full run here from that 8350, so you would expect at least a little bit of a pullback here, maybe to the 510 SMA on the uh, IWC um, USO oil uh, not doing much today up uh, maybe half a percent on the oil still toy toying with that uh, you know 10 spot up here on the USO uh, XOIL uh, you know still beneath all this uh, the uh, moving averages here the 150 the 200 uh, the trend is still basically down can't get over the 50 level so we've talked about it a gazillion times um, let's see we'll look at uh, Apple because they had their event today a thousand dollar phone or this phone or that phone face recognition um, you know can uh, think of do six billion things at one time or something like that um, so great and then so Apple basically just chopped around on the event news uh, the iWatch you're gonna be able to make uh, phone calls off of it uh, you'll have you know your iWatch and uh, so that's pretty cool so you know that might be good for Verizon and uh, AT&T because you'll have to you know have your watch hooked up for cellular uh, to make phone calls on it uh, and then TMUS so that was basically the event of Apple the new phone the watch um, and then um, on the uh, news from uh, Apple, you know, Fitbit was a little volatile, but actually, you know, it didn't get hurt too badly on uh, FIT. So, uh, you know, we'll keep an eye on that one. All right, let's go ahead and we'll get into some of the news that came out uh, after the bell. Uh, iTech, I-T-E-K, and let's bring up the uh, five-minute chart here, uh, pre and post market. And uh, iTech, I-T-E-K. Uh, let's see their news was um, announces merger agreement with rocket pharmaceuticals to advance pipeline of first-in-class gene uh, therapies for rare diseases and the stock popped and then it gave it all back so that was uh, iTech after the bell uh, we'll scroll through these uh, Zag mobile introduces wireless charging base for iPhone oh and uh, in case you're you know were a watt you know uh, this one was supposed to be the wireless um, uh, station I guess for uh, Apple but it didn't happen Apple's gonna go a different way so Watt basically took a hit got halted a couple of times in WATT uh, Zag uh, like I said their news uh, after the bell uh, up a little bit ZAGG um, uh, introduces wireless charging base for iPhone 8 iPhone 8 plus and iPhone X so they're gonna have the uh, wireless charging base uh, let's go through this news uh, crude the API numbers came out and it was a build and so after hours uh, you know a little bit down on uh, USO not much uh, but crude was a build on the AP numbers that came out at 430 but the public gets them at 435 uh, PACD is going to suspend, uh, NYSE is going to suspend trading immediately in PACD. Uh, some top insider purchases, VTL director purchased uh, 50K, SCM CEO purchased 14K, NCS director uh, purchase of 30K, and then another one of 30K on the NCS director. Um, syndicate news, AGNC public offering, AZUL filed form F1, TCMD secondary offering, TEP offering of 500 million uh, senior notes. Uh, let's see, MU got an upgrade by Goldman Sachs. So MU, big breakout over that uh, 33 and change, and it's been pushing up ever since. 
Uh, North Korea is back in the news, uh, was this morning, um, you know, talk of the sanctions, they're not happy, uh, Trump wants more than just the sanctions, so, um, you know, North Korea, the tensions are still building up with North Korea, so we'll have to be aware of that. Uh, SDRL, Deepwater Driller, files for uh, bankruptcy, so SDRL, uh, is actually uh, moving up and after hours on their bankruptcy NADL uh, another small oil name was moving down in uh, after hours on uh, that let's go ahead we'll get into the calendar for the 13th Wednesday some companies reporting earnings uh, after and before the bell tomorrow before the bell we have a cracker barrel C CBRL and that's before the bell after the bell we have lake STRM and UNFI some earnings uh, after the bell uh, Wednesday uh, for your economic information um, for tonight we have Japanese producer price index coming out at 10 minutes to 8 tonight uh, tomorrow NBA mortgage applications uh, PPI at 830 1030 uh, oil numbers come out um, and then uh, that's about it no Fed speak this week I think they're in a quiet period the Fed right so uh, nothing major uh, for your earnings calls for uh, Wednesday the 13th AGTC cracker barrels at 11 uh, and then after the bell, we have uh, F -I F -E -I -M and UNFI, and UNFI is at 5 o'clock. So a little bit of conference calls. Uh, for your market wrap, we had uh, top gainers today, AEMD, ALDX, QTNT, BRT, AKTX, VERI, INOV, MNGA, BZUN, BANC, USDP, and Wayfair. Losers were HIIQ, SAGE, WATT, BCRX, LMNR, EYES, COGT, BG, ARRY, and Azul, AZUL. And that was some of your top gainers and losers for the day. Over there in the uh, call activity, pretty light in a call and put activity. Uh, BWLD got a pop. Uh, for uh, unusual call activity, EXPR, uh, also unusual call activity, uh, put activity, EFX, that's the one that had that breach, and CRTO, some of the put activity. Puts are to the are negative, calls are uh, positive, okay? So people buying calls, unusual calls, are expecting the stock to go up. People betting on puts in options, expecting the stock to move down. All right, so we'll be right back with your uh, stocks to watch for Wednesday the 13th. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the watch list. Uh, this ALLY came up on a scan tonight. Looking for it to take out this uh, 22 level. Uh, you know, some of the banks were getting buying today. Citigroup, ZION, uh, BAC, and so on. And this ALY uh, came up on a scan. So watch for that uh, maybe 22 uh, 95 23 break I should say so not 22 23 break on a l l y uh, a t o s uh, this one uh, some nice volume in the name today under a one dollar name uh, you know maybe trying to get back over a dollar on a t o s so keep this one on watch for possible setup uh, b b b y a nice pop today trying to get actually over the 50 SMA today so it's kind of you know coming out of this support here and moving up so uh, that one was 5.6 million shares BIOA uh, this stock has been you know decimated down from uh, what six all the way down to pennies but it started perking up today uh, I don't know if this is going to get uh, you know more continuation or not but uh, it had a high today of 42 cents so maybe 44 cents if you like to play those uh, BWLD this had the unusual call activity and you see the pop that it got the volume that came in it's starting to turn the corner here trying to get back over the 20 SMA so keep your eye on this uh, BWLD uh, maybe it gets a pop um, over the highs today 104.15 on a BWLD. 
Uh, before we go further with the uh, stocks to watch list, uh, we'll take a quick look at the futures. Uh, the Dow futures are up about two points. The S&P futures are flat. The NASDAQ futures are uh, up about two points for the NASDAQ futures. Um, I'm going to be having a webinar uh, Monday, September 25th at 6 p.m. Eastern Time or Thursday, September 28th, 6 p.m. You're more than welcome to come one, to come to both. Uh, please register down here. I'll put the links down in the uh, comments and in the subscription. And um, if you're looking for a special chat room that does uh, day trading and swing trading, okay? I do day trading and swing trading because a lot of my members have jobs and they can just do the swing trading. And I also have a private Twitter feed for them and um, the tw private Twitter feed goes straight to their mobile phones so uh, come out and give us a try 20% off right now I think that's a great price 7920 and so on for your prices so you can lock in this price as long as you're a member and um, I think you'll uh, do very well with us whether you're a day trader or a swing trader so let's go ahead and get back into the uh, stocks to watch list that uh, we have BZH had a pop got over this 15 pulled back a little bit um, some of the um, home builders were were moving up Toll Brothers LEN um, and let's see KBH uh, we're getting some buying so maybe this BZH um, wants to uh, start moving up also so I'll have this one on a watch uh, CATB uh, this one turned the corner here. It's up above the uh, 5 EMA, the yellow line you see here. Looking for it to take out this uh, $1.50 on CATV, but the volume is a little bit light. But if it should take out this one fifty, a volume might come in. CRC, uh, an oil name, uh, 1.9 million shares traded. Uh, the high today was uh, 827, so maybe 830 is enough on this name, or let it set up intraday. Uh, CUDA. Uh, this one we're looking for that uh, 2450 break on the name so you can see uh, it's kind of like uh, basing below 2450 we'll see if it can take that out uh, FEYE has been moving up PANW has been moving up uh, let me check FTNT uh, FTNT is uh, trying to get back over the 100 SMA so you might want to keep a look at this FTNT also. Uh, next one up is uh, CYC was getting some buying today. See 2.3 million shares. Um, you know it's under the 50 SMA but you do have this gap uh, to fill here on CYC. C. So we'll see how it uh, sets up um, maybe on an intraday chart. EYEG, this one's popping. Looking for it to take out, um, you know, 822, 825 area on EYEG. Uh, FMSA, a uh, nice pop. Another oil, gas, equipment name. Uh, the high today was uh, 343. Seven, eight, almost eight million shares traded. So maybe over 345 for that 350 break on FMSA. Uh, first Solar uh, possibly setting up here on First Solar. Uh, for me, I think I'd want it to get over, you know, this 48 spot on First Solar. So, you know, nice consolidation here, kind of a, you know, pendant going on. So uh, keep your eye on this uh, FSLR, see if it can get, take out a 48. HZN, um, you know, pretty obscure name, industrial distribution, uh, you know, 200,000, maybe more of a swing trade. Watch it if it can get over this 1750 on this uh, HZN. Uh, and uh, you see it's kind of like flagging out here. Not a favorite though because of the volume. Uh, JD perking up needs to get over that uh, 4350 spot. Maybe we'll get a continuation move on uh, JD through 44. So watch that 4350 spot. Uh, Juno, uh, that one's making a nice uh, flag here. All right, there's the pennant flag. Uh, you know, if it can get over the highs of today, 40, we'll call it 43.25, 43.30, uh, 2 million shares. It's had a big run, uh, so it is kind of consolidating. Uh, meat, M-E-E-T, did finally get over $4. Uh, maybe it's starting to turn the corner here, 1.6 million shares, M-E-E-T. Uh, M-N-G-A, another one of these under $1 names, but it's starting to maybe wants to uh, break above the 50 SMA. 
which is currently at 76 cents. So if it can get over 76 cents, uh, maybe MNGA will get some movement, more of a swing trade type of one, I think. Uh, at least you know where your stop would be, a break of that 50 cents if you do try to take it. Uh, NVIDIA, uh, you know, uh, looks like it's ready to pop over that uh, 170 spot again. Um, you see how many times it's tested it. It's right back up there again. Uh, and then NXTD, uh, this one popped, looking for it maybe to take out, uh, you know, 237 or so. Uh, volume was a little bit light. It's had a nice run. It's not a favorite, but, um, you know, anything can happen in the market. So we'll see if this thing can maybe get over the highs today and maybe pop again. NXTD, uh, OAS, another oil name. Uh, you see the volume, over 17 million shares, trying to get back over the 50 SMA. Uh, 760 is the 50 SMA, so I'll watch for a break of that. Maybe 750, a break of 750 might be enough to get this one moving up. But uh, for me, I'll wait maybe for the 760 break on of the 50 SMA. Uh, QN, QNTNT, QTNT. Um, had a nice pop today, so I'll let this one set up intraday. Um, it stopped right at the 50 SMA, the blue line you see right there. Uh, restoration hardware kind of just um, consolidating here. Um, I don't have a plan on this one. I'll watch it on an intraday chart. It did gap up on the earnings, uh, so I don't know. I think this one needs to consolidate more. Uh, but we'll see. SINO, uh, here's a shipper that's kind of uh, trying to, you know, break this resistance level. Uh, the high today on the name was uh, 331. So watch it if it can take out, uh, you know, 335 on SINO, uh, one of the shippers that's moving up. Uh, S S N. Okay, what happened? All right, we're back in business. Um, so SINO was where we left off. Uh, SNSS, nice pop today. Uh, expanding volume, but once again, the 50 SMA is in the way. But you see these were um, shadow candles here, topping candles. Uh, this looks like a better candle. So we'll see if this one wants to continue. Maybe over 242 spot on uh, SNSS. SWN. Uh, big volume today, almost 24 million shares, popped up over the 50 SMA. Um, here's the five-minute chart. This thing just kept going up and up and up all day. Um, so let's see if there's any type of setup for a continuation move in SWN. Uh, TRIL, big pop, big volume, expanding volume, uh, nice candle, closed at the highs. So we'll see if this wants to do anything else for tomorrow. Uh, TXN, uh, get rid of this. Uh, TXN back above the uh, 5 EMA, the uh, fast moving averages here, uh, basing under uh, 83. So uh, we'll see if this can take out like 83.05 and then maybe continue up on TXN. Uh, you see the resistance though there's been there, but uh, it is a better candle, uh, nicer looking chart. So we'll see what it wants to do. Uh, VKTX, big pop, uh, expanding volume. Uh, let's see if this sets up on an intraday chart for something. Uh, VLO, we spoke about this one in last night's uh, video. It did take out that 70. Uh, I did get a trade in this one, popped all the way to 70.66, and uh, now it's closing above 70. So if you want to watch that VLO, you know, some of the other names, HFC, uh, that one popped nicely. Um, and then there's, uh, what was it, uh, ANDV. This is the old Tesoro uh, symbol. This is a refining ANDV. And uh, there you can see the ANDV now. And uh, so this one, uh, you know, is the old Tesoro TSO. And they just became ANDV. And then uh, HFC um, and then PSX was the other uh, refiner. So we'll see if VLO, VLO has uh, any more life in it. Uh, VTL, this one had the insider purchases I mentioned earlier. Uh, looking for it to take out, um, you know, that 390 spot for the $4 break maybe on VTL biotech name. Uh, ZNGA, see how long it's been basing under this uh, like 380, 382. So uh, maybe this Zynga, ZNGA, wants to get going. Uh, 12 million shares traded in it. 
So uh, that won't be on watch. This one is not was hasn't been a fast mover. So maybe a possible swing trade on Zynga uh, glue G L U U G L U U. Uh, you know that one also looks pretty good. It's had a big run on a G L U U, but uh, you know it looks like maybe it has a little more life in it. But uh, watch Zynga tomorrow. Z S A N. Um, you know, trying to maybe get over this resistance spot here of uh, 95, 96 cents. The high today on the name was 95. So if it could take out 96 cents, uh, maybe get that push up through $1 uh, on the name, biotech name, Z-S-A-N. So that's my uh, watch list uh, for tomorrow. Once again, you can get great deals. I do swing trading, day trading. Um, I do have a webinar coming up uh, Monday, September 25th, Thursday, September 28th. So come join me and, uh, you know, check me out. Uh, have people in the room very happy we are you know doing really well with our swing trades day trades and uh, so come check us out thank you so much for listening thank you for being a subscriber on uh, YouTube hit that like button if you like the videos uh, retweet these and um, if you're new hit the uh, subscribe button so you'll be notified when I make videos uh, the next video will be out will be tomorrow stocks to watch uh, for Thursday thank you so much and have a great evening